Good evening. First, I would like to thank the South Carolina Press Association and the Dawn to News and Press for allowing us to come and have this event. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to thank the citizens for coming out this evening. This shows how much pride and how much interest we have in the city of Dawn. I've been working as I introduced, my name is James Cooper, and I own and operate Cooper's Barbershop, which is here in Dawson. It's been in operation for over just about 100 years, and I've been working there for over 20. In that time, um, the, the shop is, is uh, servicing a diverse clientele, white, black, Asian, Latino, young, old. And through this experience, it's, I have gained a lot of conversation and time and talking to people about their concerns and issues with the city of Dalton. So with these issues and concerns of citizens that I've gotten, and the information I've gotten from the citizens, I began to think about some of solving some of these problems that they've been coming up with. That's why I ran for city council four years ago. Now I'm looking at another position to be your mayor. My vision for Darlington. My vision for Darlington is a forward moving progress. Going forth with growth in Darlington. Like we have the wall coming on the edge of town, which is awesome, great. But it's a start. It's a spark that we must continue. We must make it grow even further. And we have the tools here in the city of Dalton to do so. One of the things is growing our downtown. I've been working with city leaders, currently working on streamlining our business licensing process to make it easier for businesses to come into the city to do business. Also working on with looking at other industries to come in. Because as I said earlier, when industries come in, the more jobs, with more jobs, we have more of the tax base and more people working in the city of Darlington. So, Mr. Cooper, let me go on now to the first question. Yes. There are many areas of Darlington that are technically not part of the city limits, yet they more enjoy the advantages of city services. Are you in favor of an, an, an annexation program to bring more areas into the city limits? Why or why not? Well, South Carolina has one of the toughest or strenuous annexation laws in the state or in the nation. Uh, right now, currently, the law states that has to be 75% of those who are looking to be annexed into the area have to agree to it. And another 75% of those have to own the property in which you want to annex. One of the things I would like to do is show them the services that we have and just approach them in certain ways to see if they'll come into the city. But it is a challenge that we have to face, and it is something that is a state law. Thank you. The PDRTA has provided bus service for Darlington residents for five years. The city has been, been providing financial support to continue the service. If elected, will you support funding by the city for PDRTA transit in Darlington? Why or why not? Yes, I would support um, funding PDRTA. I personally have written PDRTA and gained a personal experience with the, the, the bus service. Uh, I wrote it in the morning one day and then another time in the afternoon. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't have transportation in see a but I heard the stories that they had to tell about not having transportation, going to the doctor, going to school. But another key issue that we're going to have to do in funding PDRTA is helping them find other ways of funding. They're a nonprofit organization. So we have to find them additional funding and additional ways to fund their program and services. Thank you very much. Mr. Cooper, uh, Gloria Cheeseboro Hines, you will come up. Thank like your two minute opening statement. year veteran on city council. I led the call to, for the tornado relief fund. I had responsible for getting four homes repaired. I saw that the street in front of the Dyson stuff was paved. I pushed for new water lines around the city walkways. Um, I helped with Dr. Um, Wilson Park. I pushed for gospel and jazz around the square. I made the motion for the big screen TV that you see around Dalton. I pushed for the rebuilding of Virgil Stadium, and I voted for the CDBG grant for Southeast Dalton, where much improvement was needed. We need progress in Dalton, which includes growth, downtown revitalization, 
increase retails, improve infrastructure, storm drains, complete the Carnegie Museum, and a large park. We are, we've started with a big box Walmart. If weather permits, it will be completed March 2016 and along the strip mall, bringing 255 jobs to the area. You may go online to apply for Walmart to see for a job. After these and an upscale hotel are to come. And we have Taco Bell and we have the Dollar Tree that everybody loves. <laughs> In order to attract new businesses, we need to improve our infrastructure, underground stormwater piping, catch, catch basins, sidewalks, curbs, and gutters. It is this type of ongoing upgrades to our infrastructure that will provide a better quality of life for all citizens of Dalton. I will work with Senator Malloy to get Dalton a park like Valley Park in Hartsville. That will be a place for all age groups to go for recreation. I promise when I am elected, I will work for all the people of Dalton. I will ask your call and your concerns. Ms. Adams, thank you for your opening statement. Your first question is, and you saw it ended that, both Florence and Hartsville have attracted hotels that have resulted in a great deal of tourism and visitor revenue. Yet Darlington is home for the Southern 500, the largest annual event in the PD. What are your plans to bring hotels to Darlington, and how high of a prior priority is that for you? Oh, yes. I was, it was in the rest of it, but we get to it. Anyway, um, Darlington is much in need of a upscale hotel. I was going to take my power. With Walmart coming, that's a start. Walmart is the big box. And with Walmart coming, other businesses will come. I know that. And with the infrastructure, building the infrastructure, we have to improve that. We saw that when we had the star the other week. We didn't have it in place, right? But I think, you know what? Our workers did real good. All the city workers, they were on point. The fire department, the police department, they were on point. But working together with the citizens of Dalton, we can't do this by ourselves. I need you, 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 and you to help me. Because there's nothing nobody can do by themselves. We got to put out the expertise in the city. The planning commission, they are great people on the commission. The beautification committee, we need all that expertise. No one person can do it alone, and I will do everything in my power to bring other citizens to Dalton. Thank you. <laughs> Your second question the city has an aging infrastructure. Many grants have been applied for and won to improve water, sewer, and roads in the low and moderate income areas, yet many need continue to many needs continue to exist in the commercial and other areas of the city. How do you propose addressing that these, these needs? How, and would you propose it to raising taxes to achieve that? Well, we have a, um, a project in place already for some of that. Um, Lathan Consultant was retained by the city to do a five-year Starwater master plan. This plan was completed in 2013, and it serves as a guide for prioritizing how the city should use resources to solve its most critical flooding problems. For example, the plan identified the southeast section as priority number one for Starwater improvements, hence a phase one and two $500,000 in each phase. The CDBG Community Development Rock Grant was applied for and received from the Department of Commerce. Of this phase, two $500,000 grant, $380,000 will be used for star water improvements in Southeast Dalton. The star water design is completed for the phase and the construction will be awarded in November. Upon completion, this will significantly improve the flooding situation in Southeast Dalton. The city needs to continue to allocate funds each year to, the, to improve this, its storm water infrastructure. This infrastructure will include adding more underground storm water piping, catch basins, sidewalks, and gutters. When I'm elected mayor, this will be a priority, and I promise to continue to improve the city's storm water infrastructure. And thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hanson.